Hi my friends, welcome to my online ASP.NET MVC for web application development uh, session. Today I'm going to discuss with you about a very important and uh, very uh, useful technique. So today I'm going to show you how to use MVC design pattern to build a, a simple uh, web, uh, web form. But you're going to see how to do the uh, how to do the um, validation and how you can pass the data to from the view to uh, controller using uh, JSON format and using Ajax uh, methodology. And this is a very good technique you can use in your future projects. So you will find this this, this is very useful. So for for those who are new uh, to MVC4, you should learn uh, the basics. So I will do I will explain as we as I go. So we'll just starting and. So the uh, application is MVC for web application and the uh, type is web. So I'm going to give a nice and simple name here, simple Ajax form, and click OK. <coughs> so these six templates type are the default template types that you will come across when you set up the application. So today I'm going to stick to basic uh, template and I'm going to use uh, Razor syntax. This is very important because I'm going to use the view engine as Razor. For those who are new, <coughs> you will see the power of Razor uh, syntax. So choose Razor, click OK. And the uh, Visual Studio uh, will, this is Visual Studio 2010, and this will set up the uh, basic template for you. And it will take a fair bit of time, depends on the uh, speed of your machine. So my one is a bit slow at the moment though. All right, so these are the binaries and all the necessary modules and uh, resources that we need to run this uh, simple uh, MVC4 application. So MVC stands for Model View Control. So for if you need to more, need to need to go in depth and need need to understand more, you should uh, do practice and you should read a lot. So in here, the basic concept, I'll show you the controllers, models, and views. So we, though we choose simple uh, template, we don't get any uh, inbuilt controllers or inbuilt models or views. So except that, you will only get um, the basic template. So I'm going to head up, I'm going to start with adding a new controller to our application. So you choose add new control, and MVC has a naming convention. So you can't choose the controller part because we're going to add a new controller so that's how MVC works you can't change the speed but you can change the rest so I'm going to add a new home controller and it's a D and it's an empty controller so the MVC will uh, draw this nice and easy template for you so if you can see the home class derived from the base home control base controller class so this is the default action result called index and I want to show you a quick one if you go to app starts route config you will see the default route is here so the default route name is default and the URL maps like uh, controller action and the ID is the op optional so the default con uh, route stick to home and the index so if you go back to home controller you will see the red bit because there's no associated uh, view for this action result so the view has to be the same name like the action result index that's how it works as i shown you on the uh, um, route config if you go inside this scope this public action result index you can right click you can see this add view so automatically the index we it's going to be mapped with the same view name that's how mvc works so it's it going to find the same view under this uh, action so we if you want to ch change this name you should change this name as well here otherwise it won't uh, link with the uh, view to control model so we're going to use the engine racer and we're going to set up the layout place as a default layout place which is on shared layout choose ok all done you click out so here we go you can see how it uh, hooked up with the uh, home view so we got the home controller we got the home um, folder under view views folder and the index so that's the home to home map and it calls the calls the index 
So this is the basic uh, index file, which is a mix of uh, phrase syntax and HTML syntax. So you can use phrase as well as basic normal HTML elements. So to indicate that we are going to use phrase, you, you, you have to put this at sign and go back to home controller. In this case, I'm going to add a new model to our, uh, <coughs> our MVC application. So right click models, add class. So model is nothing a class, but there's no rocket science behind that. So I'm going to add a register.cs class here. So this is going to be our model for this example. And I'm going to add uh, two, maybe three for the time being. All right, so I'm going to add two here. So this is the model here. So I've got two properties under register class, name and age. Doesn't matter the types. I just want to show you how to work. And you go back to control and then I'm going to add a new, another action result. So in this case, I'm going to put a register whatever you you name it you can put another any name here but you have to put the same you have to match with the index uh, sorry you have to match with the view here so if you go down to views you will see under home we have only one index so that's matching with here and in order to add a new one you click here right click and it will map automatically register register in this case i'm gonna i'm gonna <coughs> add my model to the view so how to do it is this way so to do in order to do it you have to choose create a strong type view and you have to choose the model here so by this time we can't we couldn't see because after we adding models we didn't uh, build the class so we have to build the application build success you can go back there right click add view choose strong type view go down you will see all the classes and here you can use register model and this is strongly type you choose the same master page layout and click add so this is the uh, <coughs> newly created registered chtml so chtml stands for the phrase syntax chtm and by clicking the strongly type view this is all it does so <coughs> even we can write this so by doing this way we are we are telling the view to use the model straight away so we can inherit we can get all the properties belongs to this view this model and use inside the view by using racer syntax and the model attribute so here i'm gonna set up my model here so i'm gonna put some required fields required so you can add the dot annotation and here you can put nice error messages i'll show you how it works please send the name and i'm gonna set the same thing down here because i need to when i do the validation i need to set these to our required field so this is how you do and if something went wrong something goes wrong you choose you wanna show these things to the clients on the client side. So these will these things even you set up on the server side on your model, this will reflect back to the client side when you because of this bit. So here I'm gonna use uh, using um, I'm gonna use some races in uh, HTML helper classes here. Begin form. And here this is the scope inside the form so I'm going to use some again some HTML help classes uh, label for and I'm going to use some uh, lambda expressions here name and I'm going to use again <coughs> similar dot text box for again the same lambda expression expressions and just copy paste this to for the rest. H and I'm gonna use a HTML helper validation summary here and we put a nice button here to submit input type. 
submit you need only this submit Well done. <clears throat> and there's one more thing you should notify. You have to go to web, web config and under the app settings, you should notify that MVC4 default at this T. These two things client, client validation enable true and unobstructive <coughs> JavaScript validation uh, enable true. So, this unobstructive and client side validation enable true. These two are enabling back in your web, uh, web config. There will be lots of magic will happen back on the client side, so I'll show you how it works. I mean, what's the magic over there? <coughs> so we set up all the uh, rules here on the model, and uh, in model hooked up with the uh, as a strong type view as a, so as for the view, and you set up the form. This is the basic HTML form because once these racist syntax rendered into the uh, web uh, web browser it will convert these ones into a basic uh, HTML uh, syntax so and the other thing is you need to go back to app start bundle config and because you're going to use some HTML validation so you're going to use jQuery so you have to fix this up this up so we're going to use jQuery 1.7 Put this bit up here, and <coughs> you're gonna use this uh, these two you know, jQuery classes, JSS. So you better put these ones in your layout, so you don't need to put every time. Go to layout, just paste some faces somewhere. Just copy paste this bit and put back in here. Easy. And you don't need to actually, you don't need this bit. You can put these bits up in here, and you render the car. Okay. Even, yeah. All well, good. So we'll run the application now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a rundown how it works. <coughs> so by default, you will see the home index. That's the default route as I uh, shown you before. So the, here we are on the default home. Even you type home, you are inside the index. So ins inside the home controller, index view. So if you want to go to the uh, register view, you should type register here and see the uh, racist index we converted to nice uh, simple uh, HTML elements. So if you go down debug mode, you will see all these ones nice and cool elements if you go down here see everything has converted to automatically even the validation uh, models are buying that automatically here yeah. so that's the magic so if you click submit you will see the magic so that's what i talk about so look if, if you click submit you will see that please enter the name please enter the age so these these values are coming from our model class if you go down to the model uh, if you stop and go to the model, these ones are coming from here. So if you go back there, you will see that those two uh, error, error modifications. And if you go down here, so if you hit back in here, and <coughs> you can uh, pass. Uh, test and the edge is 25 click submit it won't do anything because we haven't set up the HTTP post method so in order to do that you put at the same action result and put HTTP post because our form method is post so you get the object model here the same model because we can you can directly map the register model here so you get the 
register class and the object so yeah, I'll show you how it works so I'm debugging with you this, this is a bit of a bug uh, work breakdowns how it works so you run this one So here we are in the index and you go back to register, uh, you go back to home and the register. Look, so because this instance we are just calling a, calling the register action result back into the, in, so it comes here. It's not a HTTP port, it's just a normal request. So it comes here. So if you go inside, it will return the normal view. So you will see the normal view here. You have to run. So you go there, just a normal return view. So if you click submit, <coughs> you are not, you see, you are not doing the post back. It's just doing the client side validation. So that's the most important thing. You, you don't send the whole data back to server and do the validation and it comes in. It, it won't, it's not like that. You do the validation by itself on the client side. So you put some data here and again we're going to click submit. So look, in this case it does the, it does a HTTP post <coughs> request to server. So if you go inside object, you will see it maps automatically the H34 name test. So that's the magic, that's the biggest advantage of, stage of doing model, uh, strongly type model with the views. So in here, if you run it now, it will again return the view back to the browser. <coughs> so in here, <coughs> here now you can do a, you can check the model, so this is the best practice, you can do like a, model state is valid and then you can do save db you can call the db and save data sort of that <coughs> but but our main intention is to see how we can do this in a J, J, uh, json and J, uh, Ajax way. So I'm going going back to there and I'm going to create a jQuery um, jQuery script here. So you have to write a script tag script Type is um, JavaScript. Here, what you have to do is you have to write, you have to call J, uh, jQuery document not ready model, and the function So here, so we can use, we have to give, give a nice name to our form, so <coughs> we don't need to pass any, uh, any action or any, con any controls here, we just need the uh, form method is post. Because I need to give a nice name for our HTML form. Here, this is the way you pass new ID equal um, Ajax form. That's how you give an ID to a form. So, in here, you're gonna call the button. So, the we're gonna say change it to a button, and I'm gonna give you ID. ID equal 
VPN send model right, so I'm going to use some of the jQuery stuff here and I'm going to call the button dot click event click use a function alright so when the user clicks the button <coughs> we gonna call ajax call back to the uh, back to the cell so the ajax and you have to pass this way so type is which is a uh, post and the data type on uh, the url is you are gonna give the name because you are inside the home you should go back and go back into uh, we haven't saved the actually the uh, j j j core part here uh, the, the what do you call that uh, the uh, <coughs> ajax part there i'll do it in a moment but i need to finalize the function here so the type and the data type is uh, json like i promised you i'm going to show you how to work with json here and the data so the data is you're going to save the extra model name here model properties name and uh, name is uh, if you go down here if you debug you will see the element name as the same name if you debug this name name is name so it's just the same so you call the uh, jQuery to grab the data of that name, that element, and dot well. And the next one is we're gonna pass the edge. So again, it will be a same way of doing. And that's it. So we're gonna use the success function and we're going to put alert uh, data set even you can uh, develop your own ajax here even you want to develop you can use error A function here mm -hmm. that. so our function is done so all you have to do is create the URL so go to home controller and you're going to create a new public this will be a JSON result because we're going to pass a JSON data here. The data <coughs> and this will be a full register object. Register OBJ again, and here you're going to return some JSON data here so I'm just passing a null for the time being I just want to show you how to call the JSON result method and JSON behavior will get alright so this is going to be again a HTTP post because we mentioned it will be a post method so put this on you copy this name you go back to your register you add it here so <clears throat> when the button done, it will do here. And I need to do some validation. So if uh, if the form is invalid, um, so we're gonna use if and the form name here. A little bit of
then only we want to do this otherwise you will show the error messages Hopefully this will work. <coughs> and let's see how it goes. Alright, so go back to there. Submit. All done. So it's, it's working. So please enter name and age. So that means basically doing the validation from here. And if the validation is successful, we call in this function and then we're gonna go into this method. So this method will trigger if the function is successful validated. Here we go. So you can understand how so by looking at this you, you will understand how to call the JSON result method. So if you go inside, you will see the same data test and name test. So you get the same data because we pass the same uh, here you have to pass edge here and that way you will see uh, how it's gonna work close this So if you run without putting anything here, see this, and if you put this on, you put submit, you go there, still the same name, and if you go there, so that's basically how it works. So age is age, it should work. Not a cell, it has stopped. back it again <coughs> I'm show you how it okay so if you go to register and you put some data click submit here we go in h23 and the name is test so in here after that data saved you will see because it's a success not you will see the failure message all right so in here you can you can do the same thing like you can call the data you can call your model to save data or you, whatever you want so basically that's how you call the ajax function to work with and here what we did so far we create the ba ba basic HTML form here layout and we use jQuery to uh, validate our for and do ajax request and on success we get the data we fail we got this message even you can configure these ones if you want to learn more please search more things and in our model if you see in our model we can here set up all the validation rules and everything so <coughs> that's it pretty much uh, thanks for watching my video again and if you think or if you feel this is very important and very useful please do some comments below and if there is any uh, confusion or misunderstanding please let me know by dropping any comments below as well so hopefully we'll see you again hopefully i'm see you again in the next future tutorial so Hopefully I'm going to bring some authentication, form authentication and authorization uh, techniques in the future tutorials. And we'll see you guys in soon. And happy programming. Thank you.